Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Friday, December the 9th, 2016. And today in our Tech News Update, we have Windows Insider problems. Of course, a lot of insiders, once again, are, are saying that the Insider Preview they're trying to download doesn't work. Well, there's a very easy fix. Apparently, the Windows Update Fix Tool for Windows 7, Windows 8 actually works for Windows 10 and works to fix this issue. I'll post a separate video a little later on uh, with the link to the tool. Uh, apparently that is the easy fix and once you've cleared basically the fix, the uh, the Windows update, um, it, it, it starts. Now Microsoft says, well, don't do it manually with the registry fix and everything because it only fixes one time and then it comes back to a problem you need to use the tool and of course I will be posting a, 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 a separate video with the link to the tool a little later on so if you are stuck in a Windows Insider um, that can't download 14986 or any other uh, Insider previews by the way maybe that fix will actually help well Facebook malware is actually spreading across uh, Facebook it disguises itself as a celebrity te sex tape and of course, if you install this, it will, or click on it, it will install a malware or actually an extension in Chrome browser. So if you're using Google Chrome, it installs a uh, little extension that actually just downloads and spreads more malware. So remember, when you hear things like that or you see things like that, do not click on anything. It is always a scam to have you click on something and infect your machines. So be very careful when you're using Facebook. Well, Tesla and Samsung have reached a deal to supply chips for self-driving cars. It seems that they've been in talks for a little while, and it seems that the self-driving cars from Tesla might actually have a lot of Samsung electronics inside them. So uh, no news as to how much is that deal, but it's probably quite interesting. And it positions Samsung that we know is trying to find a way to get into the self-driving car business. So uh, by teaming up with Tesla, I think that's a good way to start. Windows 10 Cumulative Update is available right now. If you are on Windows 10, you can check your Windows Update. There's a Cumulative Update for Windows 10 available. Now, if you are um, wondering what it fixes, what it is exactly. Once again, I will post a video a little later on explaining the fixes and what actually uh, that cumulative update is all about. It's an out of cycle update, as you see. And uh, I, I knew it was going to come eventually because there was a release preview ring that had one, but there were some bugs, so they had to work on it a little bit before it was released to everybody. But a cumulative update for Windows 10 for everybody is available right now. Uh, I've uh, downloaded on the machine, but I've not installed it yet. After the news bulletin, I will install it and come back with a video explaining what it's all about. Well, Samsung is really going crazy into trying to get back the remaining Galaxy Note 7s. And basically, first of all, they've said that for Europe, they will now restrict the battery charge to 30%. So that means your phone, starting from about now, will only charge to 30%. And um, they are think, uh, thinking of um, actually having a worldwide uh, block soon that will make it impossible to charge. When you will plug your little adapter, it just won't charge at all. So uh, this is the last sprint to really get back the Galaxy Note 7s that are still out there that people use. It is very important to bring them back. Researchers are trying to make artificial intelligence work a little bit like human ears when they're listening in on conversation and listening in on what people have to say. And they say that right now there really needs to be a lot of work in that field because when they're trying to actually get uh, artificial intelligence to understand what we are saying, um, they've done, for example, a test where in a noisy environment they uh, asked uh, with a voice command to actually get um, up to you know 20 different pictures in a PC that had pictures of different objects and they say that the success rate is about 30 percent which is very low and they need to work on this they want to try to make the artificial intelligence here 
um, good enough that it would be like the human ear where you know our brain is just so hardwired with our ears and eyes that for example in a noisy environment you can still understand somebody talking across a room uh, because our brain is just so good at doing that and removing also the extra noise and computers still have a lot of difficulty doing this so uh, interesting research here in making basically an electronic ear well Visa says that their cards have absolutely no security problems in that it is a um, something that is uh, not true that the cards are so easy to hack into but security experts um, actually did the trick to try it out and wanted to show Visa okay if there's no security flaw then we will try to hack into and get card numbers and get you know purchases done and security experts trying the little trick that was told to them actually did get all the required information for Visa cards and did some transactions so I think Visa really needs to sit down and simply do one simple thing it's that MasterCards have one difference with Visa cards MasterCards after 10 attempts will block the card Visa does not have a limit on attempts so basically that's what's opening up the possibility to find the details to do transactions so uh, yep Visa you gotta really fix that problem and finally this is PewDiePie this is the youtuber number one youtuber um, and basically he has warned that if YouTube doesn't change its policies regarding um, basically the channel advertisements and how they do uh, you know sometimes you have previews of channels well he says that YouTube changed something there and that um, before 60% of his traffic came from that now only 0.7% of the traffic and he's kind of complaining that it broke down a little bit the YouTube um, stuff so if nothing changes he has warned that today at noon Eastern Time that's 5 p.m. Uh, in the UK or GMT he will take down his YouTube channel so that's gonna be interesting to see will it happen or not I don't know but um, you know if I'd be him I wouldn't complain too much he's got 50 million subscribers which is much more than I so this was the tech news for Friday December the 9th 2016 if you enjoy our videos please subscribe to our channel you'll be informed when new videos are online give us thumbs up and if you have any comments questions suggestions let us know thank you for following us